Yemeni national Shema Swile landing at SFO tonight, greeted by loving family and a slew of cameras. But for the family, Swile's arrival from Egypt is bittersweet. This is a difficult time for our family, but we are blessed to be together. For months, Swile and her husband Ali Hassan have been trying to get a waiver from the State Department to allow Swile to come to the United States to see her dying two-year-old son Abdullah, who is on life support at UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital. Ali and Abdullah are both naturalized U.S. citizens. Swile is not, and because of President Trump's travel ban, which bars people from seven countries, including Yemen, from traveling to the U.S., she had not been able to come see her son. Time is running out. Please help us. Get my family together again. The State Department told reporters they cannot comment on specific cases, but said applicants who are ineligible for a visitor visa may apply for humanitarian parole. Lawyers for the Hassan family say only after Ali's tearful pleas on national TV did anything change. This family desperately reached out to the U.S. Embassy in Cairo 28 times. 28 times, and despite their pleas, only received automated responses. This case clearly demonstrates what a tragic nightmare the waiver process is and the real human consequences it can have. Ali himself echoed those sentiments before heading to the hospital with his wife. The Muslims then has hurt Yemen Americans' families. I need to end. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.